brother, your man, Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, Mobile Mechanic and Roadside Services. As you know, I say you see it on the shirt, baby. I'm down here in Polk County, man, and I told my homeboy I was going to make him a quick video um, with a somewhat tutorial on using this Syntec OBD2 uh, code reader, right? So what we're dealing with is he has this uh, O3 Hyundai XG something. Um, one of their luxury cars and he's having problems with the throttle position not reading correctly so this is what we're looking at first off let's start by trying to make this quick this is a flyby wire what that means is that this throttle body is electronically controlled i don't necessarily like these but that's the way the world is moving so you know you got to move with the times over here with the best car in the world don't mind that falling uh, we have a cable driven throttle body and what that means see you can see a map sensor right here you got the throttle position sensor right back there you probably can't see it in the camera but this is actually driven by cables those cables go to the gas pedal accelerator here and I guess you can't really see the rest of what I'm trying to show you but every time you hit the gas this pedal this cable moves the accelerator so that's drive by cable this is fly by wire or drive by wire where this comes into play is telling him that sometimes I just had a customer go through the same thing and uh, it ended up being and I've had it on my own another personal car the accelerator pedal itself and I don't remember the code off the top of my head but I told him instead of buying the throttle body which in this one I actually we did put a throttle body in it as you can see this is actually new and um what was happening is it wasn't being able to respond back to uh giving it gas so you giving it gas nothing's happening so there's a couple of back back ways to diagnose this so what I told him to do check this part out so we're gonna go, we turned it on, we got the computer connected, and we're gonna go to live data. All right, press enter. Now it's gonna be a little bit hard because these drive-by wires don't necessarily let you uh, take off the intake because the mass airflow sensor on this one is detecting how much is going in. And it's like 39 degrees outside right now. Uh, excuse the ashiness. Oh, it's cause I ain't got the key on. I ain't gonna miss you cutting the key on. There we go. Now we should be good. Here, crank this bad boy up. All right, live data, cause it needs to be live so it can read the data. I'm gonna view data, complete data set. Well, actually no. Uh, if you can go to complete data set, if you wanna look at everything. So fuel system, return and feed, uh, low percentage, the same thing with throttle position, um, engine control temperature or engine coolant temperature, fuel trim, short term and long term right now, just cause it's cold. No, 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 I'm looking at that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, cool. Long term, we're looking good. Short term is not reading. No, it is reading good. Okay. RPM, speed, how fast you're going, the, the timing, intake air temperature. It says it's 66. Oh, that's good. So if it's 66, that's about 20 degrees difference. Okay. Sounds about right. So either way, what I told him we need to look for is that TP percentage. We hit the question mark here. And that's absolute throttle position. What I'm looking for on this see right now it's at 0 0.04 when I hit the gas I need this thing to move up all right we focus here we go see how I just went to point uh, 9.8 back down to 0 and 0 0.4 so what we're gonna be doing is testing to see, well, mine is working, right? So it's kind of hard to do it without um, having a bad one, but that's what we're looking for. Let's go back out. We're gonna go to custom data set. Enter. All, right. All I care about, yeah, let's look at the low percentage. Low percentage. And this isn't, 110% the way to do it is just it is a way to do it. Throttle position. Okay, 
Okay, that's all I care about. Cool. All right, so now we enter. All right, so what I'm looking for is to make sure that there's correlation between me hitting the ga the accelerator and then the engine revving up because it's allowing the throttle body to open on the electronic command. So here we go. Watch me now. Now, if I let this thing, huh? Hey, Daddy, making a video. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> it's my little man in the background. Don't let him smell this stuff. I got this exhaust burning out here. Oh, okay. Come back, oh. I'll be out in just a minute. I don't want him to inhale this because I'm about to be revving it up. Hey, Go to mommy. All right. Okay. I'll get back to my little dude in just a second. So let me finish this up. All right. We have five minutes. So the low percentage is actually what we're going to be focusing on. Calculated low value is what this is called. And right now, that's actually where we're at as far as throttle because the throttle bodies always stay a little bit cracked open. So as you can see here, I'm going to give it a little bit of gas and watch that value go up. So that's what we're looking for. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because this is what I actually want to see. When I do this with the car off, of course, I'm not getting anything. But this is why this is going to be a little bit tricky because well, it was warmed up now, so it should be able to, to do this properly. All right. I need to see is a correlation between this throttle plate right there that you can see the gold plate and my low percentage. If I can get the car to stay running with this off because the mass airflow sensor is going to be freaking out. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's going to be a little bit tough with the... Uh, it doesn't know what to do. It can't do anything because because <laughs> it's too cold outside and i was hoping i could get this to, to to work out in my favor but of course that is probably not the case well a wide open throttle nope nope well that's not gonna work and i don't have another way to do it actually it works pretty good when it's warm outside but what you want to do Maybe it's warmer where you're at right now. You're going to bring your cold scanner, put it out here. And what you want to see is whenever you, it's not going to do it now because I need the car to be running with the fly by wire. We're just going to poke something in here. Boom. All right. Poking it in there. And of course, I got a link in there. Come on, Nissan. Work with me. Work with me. I took the key down. That's right. That's right. Sorry, y'all. I know this is a rough video. I told my homie I was going to shoot it for him. Let's just go back to complete. I'm not going to go through all that foolishness. I hear my brother baby crying. I got to wrap this up. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I'll take it to the flyby wire and, uh, or fly by cable and show you the difference of the low percentage you want to see. So, so right now, of course, it's not going to read anything. I got a screwdriver stuck in there. So, what you want to see if there's a correlation between this pedal and it's not going to run. It's not going to run. It's too cold outside. Well. percentage is what we're looking at and it cuts you off and all I'm trying to verify is if or when the ECU is going to detect what's what's happening be it the throttle and it's easier in the drive by uh, drive by cable where's that And I'll show you why. Okay. Diagnosis. Talk to me. 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 Talk to me
Timmy. Toyota Corolla is one of the best cars in the world. You want a car that you don't have to call a mechanic all the time? Get a Toyota Corolla. 2000s model, baby. See the rip in the seat cover? I use this thing. Try not to abuse this thing. Come on. Talk to me. Of course, there's no codes. It's a Toyota. My Toyota at that. All right, we're back to live data. It's easier in something with uh, without the electronic uh, accelerator control. So I can go to low percentage at zero right now. And try to get it so you can see both of them. This car is small, though. i give you that much. All right, here we go. Oh, wrong one. There we go. The auto position in this one is what we're looking for because it has the TPMS sensor on the side. I'm full throttle, and that's what I'm getting at full throttle. That's where it's set at idle. This is where it's set at full throttle. You typically want to look for this throttle position. That That is what we're looking for. Between the throttle position and the load value is what's going to give us the numbers that we're looking for. So let me back up and show you one more time. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. See, I'm at 76. Pull it all the way to the pedal. Let off. 10%. So what this is telling me is that the computer... The TP, TPS sensor, throttle position sensor, is reading the value of how much I'm pulling. The cable is in turn opening the butterfly inside of here. Why it won't work doing the same test on an electronic system is because, well, Nissans are just kind of funny. Uh, Chevys aren't usually as bad, but the, T, the throttle position sensor and everything about it is in here. So if you have a code that's coming up saying that you're having problems with the throttle body, the point of this video is to show you where you get different values from using a cheap scanner. You're going to look for, one, any shorts in the wire. Look from the wire harness in the engine bay, get a schematic and follow that down to the actual accelerator itself because a lot of times... A lot of times, the sensor, you can't see it that good, right there is basically acting as a throttle position sensor. So you kind of have two. One on the accelerator and one also at the throttle body itself. This would have made a lot more sense if I was able to, to show the test uh, a little bit in detail. It is a little bit hard to hold this at the same time. So the second thing that you want to verify Typically, you would get a load percentage on the computer once you open that throttle body. So if you if you take off the intake and you push the push the, press the butterfly, it should show you some relation of the throttle position. Like I said, Nissan's are funny and it kind of has two: one at the throttle body and one at the accelerator. All of them do, but some cars, like in the Chevy Aveo, for instance, the old six and up, they have a potentiometer. It's a little bit different style, but the same concept that'll show you your load percentage, and that's what you're looking for. If you can't see a lower percentage with the car running from the gas pedal, but let's say you can get the car to run with the intake off and you press in the screwdriver, then that usually lets you know either there's a problem with the wiring, the connection, or the accelerator, not necessarily the throttle body itself. Uh, and of course, you can get codes for all this, but it doesn't necessarily break down what's going on. So that was a quick how to use a, a cheap scanner video i'm gonna I'm, a, I'm gonna work on this a little bit because i think it's gonna be an interesting series uh it's gonna be a series that's what it's gonna be because cheap scanners are the way to go this is for your average do-it-yourselfer and this is my cheap nissan and my my cheap corolla i love this thing though it's the freaking best car in the world i'm telling you either way mi gente that's how you look at low percentage and calculate uh what's going on i will have to throw in the codes of what's going on with this uh my homie's car but 
that's how you check between the throttle body accelerator and the cable i hope this video helps if you do have a cheap scanner if you have any questions on how to use yours i will try to make a more in detailed video about it like the video go ahead and give me a like you like car information subscribe to the channel somewhere over here ding that bell bring, and then um share the video share the video with some other car person who may need to know this until next time you hit the beneficial peace